what's going on guys <laughs> we have hit the milestone okay we have hit the milestone that i that i started out with 1000 subscribers they are 1000 people subscribed to this channel right as of now a little bit over a thousand and i cannot begin to express the gratitude that i have towards this i mean the channel started i started this channel in september and it has been a journey to say the least you know it's not even the end of january yet um five i would say five months um five months in i'm gonna call it five months and i'm at a thousand subscribers now i know it ain't the greatest growth um speed okay because i know people was telling me oh you you know what i'm saying your channel will grow based on this and this and this and that and whatever and i've always explained to you guys that i'm enjoying the growth the speed that i'm growing i'm not in a rush to have a hundred thousand subscribers a million subscribers i'm in no rush okay some people it took them years you know years to get to to a million subscribers years to get to a hundred thousand even just ten thousand subscribers it takes them years it's better to have a fan base a loyal fan base that you know and a very tight-knit community than to have a million subscribers and then when you upload a video you get what only fifty thousand out of that is watching your videos you know what i'm saying because now your channel is basically boiled down to a certain kind of niche and now you have to try to cater to all those people that came in when you was trying stuff out you get what i'm saying or you did something that went viral and it blew you up and you didn't stick to the formula and whatever the situation is i could give you tons of examples on youtube where i think people could improve on their channel to have a better tight-knit community some people have a lot of subscribers and they're stuck right they have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they only get like 15,000 16,000 views on their videos why they didn't do anything to reinvent themselves that's also another thing and then they complain and they say oh this and that and whatever people are not watching their videos and I'm like dude you're not doing anything new it's the same old same old you don't reinvent your channel as you guys can see if you guys see as i progress throughout this five months there are improvements to my channel my logo has changed everything that i did you know the way I, my setup everything you know i keep you guys up to date i stay in contact with y'all as much as i can you know i you know i stay in contact with the with, with with you guys through the comments you know it's just certain things that you got to do on youtube and i'm here giving out youtube tips as if i have millions of subscribers right <laughs> but i'm telling you guys it's better to have a tight-knit community you know there's there's people on my channel that you know i know they're gonna comment regardless of what i what i put out right mm -hmm. there are people like that and you know i as i said I want to thank you guys so much for just sticking with me. I really, really do appreciate it that you guys have stuck with me throughout these five months. Um, all my Game of Thrones fans out there, my new Ippo fans that are coming in right now, the Koji Gias fans, you know, um, you know, and you know the anime fans are 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 finding my channel now. So that's that's good too because I love anime. Um, so the TV shows, The Walking Dead, I know you guys probably do not really like the formula that I'm using for my TV shows uh, and also called Gias, you know, uploading it to the Google Drive. I know you guys wish the stuff was on YouTube and you could just watch it there other than going to a second source. And really and truly, this has to do with, with YouTube. It had nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter how much footage I upload. Only, only Ippo and 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 Game of Thrones stuff don't give me any issues to upload on YouTube, um, because you guys tell me, oh, upload ten minutes. No, I can't. I don't know why. 
I've done 10 minutes. I've even tried as much as just a little bit, one or two minutes, cut it down to three minutes highlights, and it still doesn't work. I don't know if it's because I have my stuff full screen most of the time. I've tried it. I've tried, I'm a, especially I've tried it with um, The Walking Dead. I know people. what people do is they kind of distort the image or they turn down the opacity and stuff like that. And for me, guys, I'm not going to do that because I'm not on YouTube for, I'm not on YouTube for the, um, for the, for the ads, you know what I'm saying? Cause they do that so that ads can be on their videos and they could get money from it. But you know, I've explained this so many times in the past in other updates where I explained to you guys that my objective on YouTube is not for money. I'm doing this. I started this channel because I'm such a fan of the platform. You know, I'm such a pl fan of the platform to the point where YouTube basically, you know, it's like the my my source for probably everything that I do. If I want to learn something, I go to YouTube. If I want to, you you get what I'm saying? Like, if I want to learn something about something new that I'm watching, um, I go to YouTube. You know, because there's reviews and stuff like that. So you can know if it's going to be enticing or not. Like, a lot of my movies... I go and watch the non-spoiler reviews from people that I trust that know some shit about movies and their humble opinion and stuff like that. Mind you, I still go see the movie, you know, and it doesn't ruin it for me. The reviews that I watch for movies, it doesn't ruin it for me. I still sometimes come out with a totally different opinion than, than they do. I still go see the movie. I don't let that tell me. It's just that I just want to hear somebody else's opinion about it most of the time before I go and see the movie. It doesn't change my mind or let me have a pre um a pre, pre a preconception of the damn thing. Okay? <laughs> Alright? So it doesn't let me do that. It's just more of like um just having somebody else's opinion going in, you know, what they think. So when I come out I can say, well I don't know what that guy was talking about or something like that. So in, in terms of, you know, certain things, that I just won't do that. I'm just not going to do that. I, You guys deserve good quality, and that's why I'm keeping the quality where it is. I'm not going to, to, to go, go into do less opacity and to destroy the, the, the integrity of somebody else's work just to make money off of it. You guys... You guys don't understand. I've been through um, a situation where my intellectual property was taken and made money off of without my knowing. Okay, so I've been there. So I know what it's like. And some people are mad because people might claim their stuff or claim, you know, ads on their videos and put ads on their videos and and they take their videos down because they're mad because, oh, I, I created this and I no you didn't no you didn't. And I know a lot of people might be mad at me for saying this, but it's the truth. You did not create that content and you're uploading it to a third party source. So you have to be careful on what you're about, what you're doing when you're trying to say, oh, I should be making money off of this. No, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to be making money off of somebody else's work. Yes, you're recording your reaction to something and you're putting up so other people can enjoy it. Just understand, you should be looking for, I'm, the, I'm just talking about reaction channels on a whole. You get what I'm saying? And it's their right to do, you, you know, from a moral standpoint, for me, it just, I just don't see it as being me going to be like all up in arms because somebody is trying to you know, claim, put a claim on my video or whatever. Let them claim it. I could give a, a two shits if they claim it. It's their shit. They created it. They spent the time and create these, these wonderful shows that we so want to react to and put up on YouTube. They did it. So if the studios want to put a claim on it and say, Hey, I want to put some ads on your videos. So somebody, if somebody watches it and like this stuff, we get the benefit of it. I'm all for it, man. You get what I'm saying? I'm all for it. It's no big deal to me because I did not create the content that I uploaded, right? 
I did not create it. And you may look at it and say, oh, reaction videos are some huge, it's original. That shit is not original. Okay? It's not. And it's, they're not hard to do. I've said this multiple times where I said reaction videos are not hard to do. But anybody out there trying to make it seem totally, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way how I look at things is just different from other people. And that's just my standpoint on things. And I've told you guys in the past that when it comes on to the Game of Thrones stuff, if that stuff end up like YouTube come down hard on me or HBO sends me an email and, and says that, you know, it's too much of the show that I put up, um, those videos will be taken down. And I'm not going to argue about it. I'm not going to protest it or anything like that because guess what? It's their thing. They created it. How would you like if you created something? And that's what it's, what people tend to do is they tend to not put themselves in other people's shoes. And they don't look at things from both sides when it's their, you know, butt in the fire. You know what I'm saying? They don't look at it and say, oh, suppose it was me that made this content, that created this content, and this person, and I didn't give that person permission to do that. You get what I'm saying? Like, you didn't contact the person. I didn't contact H HBO, or did I? I don't remember exactly... Cause, cause a lot of the stuff that I do, I do try to get in contact with them to ask them if I can react to it. So it's not out of the question. I, I think I did after a while. I think when I was having trouble in the first season when I was reacting, I think I did contact them, and they, I, they did respond to me. I don't remember exactly, but, um, but did get the okay for ten minutes, you know, so. I don't remember if it was a subscriber that told me that or if it was HBO directly. I'm not sure. But let's talk about something different. You guys already know my stance on that, even though I just repeated it for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, but this is going to be, this is a celebration, guys. This is a celebration, and I want to get to the, ce the celebratory part, okay? So, the giveaway is coming up sometime in the next two weeks this announcement is going to come out, so don't miss it, okay? The prizes for this giveaway, for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, everybody going to get a chance to win. You don't have to go anywhere and buy anything for, this, for, for you to get a chance to win something, okay? Um, it doesn't I also I've mentioned that it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Just let me know I will send the thing to you if you don't want me to know your personal address Get a PO box or, or something or Some way somehow, you know, it's gonna be done through private message anyways, so you know if you have a problem with um, With giving somebody your personal address if you don't have an outside source to receive mail and stuff like that Please don't join the giveaway because you don't want to win and then I, you're like skeptical because, you know, you might think I'm going to send you a dirty bomb or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? People are paranoid. <laughs> don't get it twisted. So I'm just telling you from the get go, don't do that. If you feel like you don't want to give me your personal address or you don't trust me to that point. Then don't enter the giveaway. Don't waste my time because I don't want to come in like, man, I don't choose somebody else. I didn't really want to enter because I didn't know if I really want to or not. Don't waste my time like that. I don't want to waste the time. OK, so if you win, if you enter the contest and you win and, you know, and then I have to go through the point of having to choose somebody else because you can't give me a personal address when I already told you don't enter if that's a problem for you then this is going to be a waste of my time and i don't like wasting time so guys thank you thank you thank you i can't thank you guys enough for sticking with me all of my die hard fans man from all across these different shows it's been it's been awesome it's been awesome you know I, and i love you guys for that so staying active in the comment section. I know in my last channel update, I told you guys I need more interaction on some of those videos. And you guys have stepped it up so far. 
you guys have stepped it up so far. So no doubt about that. Um, so um, remember, guys, that the Discord is active. I'm going to make sure that the Discord is... I keep forgetting to put the Discord link as default. I need to do that. I need to put the link as um, as default. But as you guys know, for the... Um, for it has a different a different channel for everything that we do on the channel here and we also have a general um we also have a general um chat room that you guys can go talk kick it whatever um eventually you know i know a lot of you guys are going to be there so i'm not worried about the amount that's there right now okay there's only a few people there right now you know you know, people who are staying connected, if you can't get the app and you, and you don't have it on the computer, it's fine. I'm still going to be in the comment section, so don't worry about it, okay? So, thank you guys for watching, man. Thank you guys for sticking with me. A thousand subscribers. Um, I'm eligible for the YouTube partner program now, so I'm going to contact them, see how to get involved with that. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that none of these videos that... I um that I'm reacting to and that's on YouTube already like the Game of Thrones stuff, the Ippo stuff. I'm going to make sure that none of those are monetized. Okay? Um because as I said, I don't want to be monetizing people's content. I just don't. I just don't like the idea of doing that. You know what I'm saying? And having to go through I don't know how people here they sitting down trying to fight people over their stuff. It's just like it's just like no, it belongs no, you didn't create it, it doesn't belong to you. Stop fighting over it. You know what I'm saying? Stop fighting over something that does not belong to you. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, no, it's mine. No, no, it's not yours. <laughs> you know? Um, so, yes, you might have uploaded the video, but you have somebody else's stuff in it. It's like you making a video of you robbing somebody and then saying, no, it's mine. And you're congratulating yourself. No, it doesn't work like that. You ask permission. They're given permission. There's certain studios that give you permission to react to their stuff. But you can't be making money off of the stuff, okay? If they give you permission and tell you you can monetize it, then that's different. But if they don't, don't do it. It's simple. And you guys can see that I'm very passionate about this, and that's why I talk about it so much. I'm very passionate about, the, about, that, about that in particular. I'm very passionate about it because... I don't want anybody to be stealing stuff from me, so I really do not. I try not to to steal stuff from people. I try not to make money off of people's stuff that they create. Um, and be and and if you're gonna be original, then be original. Create your own stuff. If you love Game of Thrones a lot and you want to react to it, do it and do it do it with grace. You know what I'm saying? Do it with, with, I don't know why I said grace. <laughs> do it and do it the right way. Ten minutes per part if you want to do it like that. You know, you know, out of out of respect. You know what I'm saying? Um, and as I said before, I, I, I've, I've even admitted to the fact that I went a little bit overboard with the amount of parts that I did for Game of Thrones. So if they do contact me and say take those videos down, they will be coming down with the quickness. I'm not even gonna gonna try to fight it or anything like that. I might ask them what is allowed and maybe bring the videos back down and re-upload them somehow. You know what I'm saying? Edit them on YouTube, something. You know what I'm saying? Trim them down, whatever the situation is. Um, might the, the experience might not be as enjoyable, but at least I will be within what they're allowing me to do. So it is what it is. But thank you guys, man. Uh, you know, it's been a journey and it, it's only going to be more and more from here. Um, I am predicting that by by next month, by like the second week in next month, my schedule should be going from up here to like down here. So I will be able to be home and to get these stuff done. OK. Um, and get these reactions out to you guys on a schedule. I'm looking forward to that. So thank you guys for listening once again. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Look out for the giveaway announcement. It's coming sometime in the next two weeks. As soon as I get settled and stuff like that to get this stuff done. I already have the stuff in my mind what I want 
to do if you if um if you win you'll get something to specific towards what you really enjoy about my channel i have some original stuff that i'm planning also i'm also looking to do a merchandise line if you guys are interested in that let me know um so i can get that done also so thank you guys for listening and as always you know who it is remember to subscribe hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section you already know who it is it's your boy terabyte reaction Thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. Peace.